Hello and welcome. In this video, you will learn some new comments using the Shopify theme kit. So here is the Shopify theme kit and we will learn how you can bring the changes in your local environment and you can see it in a stand update in the, your store. So I will come to my store here and let's go to the front page of our store. I'll open this in the new tab. Maybe just click on the eye here and I will bring some updates here. If I come here in the previous video, we just install it and everything we have configured now you will have access to a command line if i open terminal here you can press ctrl tilde in your keyboard and it will open the powershell here and in the same directory if you run the theme watch command now it is going to watch for any changes in this directory and it will instantly up upload those changes to development store here this is going to be the theme we are targeting so let's try it if i come to the layout directory we'll talk about the layout in the next video for now i will come to the layout directory we have a file called theme.liquid looks familiar right it is like html and css don't worry if things are a little bit like confusing here our theme will be a lot cleaner so this is going to be this is the default theme it is nice but when we create our theme it should be more cleaner than this so for now let's add something you know every html body uh, every like html document has a body right so if i come here here is the body imagine if above everything in the body i create an h1 and see and write a text of here is my update see i will save it and now i will open the terminal again check out this one processing uploading it took less than a second to upload that one this is super fast if I refresh my page now, I should see the text above my navigation. Here is my update. That's it. That is how you can develop your theme and you can bring all the changes in your local store. As soon as you change, as, you, as soon as you switch from the, your uh, code editor to the browser, you will see the update here. Sometimes it is a little, you know, it's slow because of the internet connection, but there is no way you can develop a Shopify theme locally. That's why. So this is for the theme watch, like it is just watching for the changes. Also, there are some other stuff also about these comments. Now how you stop this one, you can press Ctrl C. Make sure if this is watching, you bring any changes in this directory, it will upload this one. So make sure like you are not breaking your website. Now for, for example, I just stop this one. And if I refresh this one, it is still here. Now if I come here and I remove it, Obviously, these are the basic stuff. So if I remove it, it will be removed from my local directory, but it will not be removed from my live store. That's why that's because the theme watch is not running. So I will run the theme watch again. If you run the theme watch again and you will come to the store, let's say, yeah, it is running. You will come to your store, you refresh it, it is it's still here. When you bring any changes, uh, when the theme watch is, let's say, is stopped, you have to save it again. If I press Ctrl S again in this directory, if you do not bring any changes also it will see the changes um, it will upload this one for you now if i refresh it now i should not see any here is my update text in my navigation so that's easy right now you can bring any changes you want here in this file which is going to be just an html file and html page here so that's it for this video thank you for watching it was a short one and in the next video we will talk more about theme development liquid and sas so see you in the next video